in one minute, I'm going to show you how to solve this chemistry problem. So we have this sodium ion, and we want to figure out how many protons, neutrons, and electrons there are. The first thing I'm going to do is look for sodium on a periodic table. Sodium is the 11th element. This is what's known as the atomic number, and the atomic number refers to the positively charged protons in the nucleus of the atom. The next thing we need to find are the neutrons. The neutrons are neutrally charged, and this number up here refers to the total number of protons and neutrons you have in your atom, or in this case, the ion. As we can see, we have 11 protons, and there's 23 protons and neutrons, so that means we must have 12 neutrons, since 11 plus 12 will give us this 23. The last thing we're looking for are the negatively charged electrons, and we can figure this out by just looking at the charge right here. We can see we have a plus one charge on this sodium ion, and we can see we have 11 positively charged protons, so that means we must need 10 negatively charged electrons. So we have 11 protons, 12 neutrons, and 10 electrons, and if you look at the four options down below, this matches with option D. That is how you solve the problem.